Okie dokesters, welcome to the podcast. We got a question today about being on the second floor of a building with your float center. So if you're thinking about putting a float center on the second floor, do you need to do any structural reinforcement to hold the weight of the float tank? And let me just say definitively that it totally depends. Yeah, that's, I think it's a very <laughs> concrete answer. Um, and, and of course, it's going to depend on the building, how new your construction is, whether you're in a big multi-story concrete uh, kind of building or whether you're in an old wooden Victorian house. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it. But shockingly, the overall answer in, in almost all of those cases tends to be no. You don't really need to do any extra reinforcement. Yeah, most most times uh, people will bring in a structural engineer to take a look at things and examine it. Often, like landlords will even require you to do that. But which you, which you totally should do. But don't just like listen to us and be like, "Oh, it's totally fine. <laughs> Go forward with it." A structural engineer is a great thing to bring in. Yeah, but it, I mean, it usually ends up being that while the float tank is heavy and while the salt water is heavy and all that, it's just got such a big footprint. Like the float tanks are are so big that the actual amount of you know pounds per square foot that's really being put on is not really as much as, as one might think. So uh, it tends to be that a lot of buildings can hold it, even the way they are, especially newer construction, like newer condo-type buildings with you know strong reinforced concrete and stuff like that tend to uh, not really be much of a concern. Yeah, and again, surprisingly, even for older buildings, uh, oftentimes those are also good to go. So another good reason to consult an expert before spending a lot of money on reinforcements you might not necessarily need but yeah, it's always weird, and there's always weird stuff out there. I mean, even <laughs> the float shop across the river from us, as they're in like an old Victorian house, and they brought a structural engineer in to check things out before they started, and they found they could put float tanks on the second floor, but their first floor was not actually strong enough to put float tanks on, which is uh, which is really crazy. Yeah. So again, consult the experts, and uh, if it doesn't work out, then you always can reinforce anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's that. If you guys have questions of your own you want to ask us, just go over to floattanksolutions.com slash podcast, and we'll talk to you soon.